Hello everyone. This is Epic IQ and in this video, I am going to discuss two relatively simple cryptarithmetic problems. The first problem goes like this. The number x, y, z is equal to the sum of the factorials of x, y, and z. You have to find out which number does each of these letters x, y, z represent. The second verbal arithmetic problem goes like this. The square root of xy plus z is equal to the square root of xyz. Can you solve them? They are simpler than many other cryptarithmetic problems because you can eliminate a lot of possibilities right at the beginning. In the first problem, you can eliminate various possible values because of the factorials. And in the second problem, you can make eliminations because some of these terms are perfect squares. The basic cryptarithmetic rules to follow are each of the alphabets can take up only one distinct value between 0 and 9. Also, a number cannot start with a 0. You should be able to solve each of these in 2 to 3 minutes. Give it a try or else, you may continue with the solution. Let us first discuss the factorial problem. XYZ is a 3 digit number between 100 and 999. Let us write down each of these factorials. We notice that the number 7 factorial is a 4 digit number. Since the number XYZ is a 3 digit number, none of the X, Y, or Z can have a value of 7. In fact, none of them can have a value of either 8 or 9, as their factorials are even greater than the factorial of 7. Now, let us consider the possibility of 6 as a value. The factorial of 6 is 720. So, the sum of the three factorials will be greater than 720. That means the value of the first digit in the number XYZ, the letter X, will be 7 or more. We have just deduced that none of these letters can have a value of 7, 8, or 9. So, the number 6 is also excluded from the possibilities. Now, let us visit the list of factorials again. The factorials of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 are quite small. If we add the factorials of 2, 3, and 4, we get 32. But the sum of factorials, the number XYZ, is a 3 digit number. To get a 3 digit number as a sum, we must have one of the letters as 5. Now, the largest possible value of the number XYZ is the sum of the factorials of 5, 4, and 3, which is 150. So, XYZ can have a value between 122 and 150. This means that the value of X will be 1. So, X is 1, and one of the letters Y or Z must have a value of 5. We have two possibilities. If y is equal to 5, then the number will be 15z. And if z is equal to 5, then the number will be 1y5. These are the two possibilities. The letters y or z can have a value of 0, 2, 3, or 4. You can check for these values and arrive at the solution quickly but let us continue with the analytical approach first consider the number 15z 
the equation will be 1 5 z is equal to factorial 1 plus factorial 5 plus factorial z. 1 5 z is equal to 150 plus z. This is equal to 121 plus factorial z. That gives us z factorial is equal to 29 plus z. This is obviously larger than 24. So z cannot be 0, 2, 3, or 4. Now, we consider the second possibility. 1, y, 5. The equation will be 100 plus 10 y plus 5 is equal to 1 plus y factorial plus 120. This gives us 10 y minus y factorial equal to 16. A value of 4 for y satisfies this equation. So, the number xyz will be 145. Now, let us consider the second problem. We know that both xy and xyz are perfect squares. xy is a two-digit perfect square. So the possible values are 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, and 81. Now xyz is also a perfect square whose first two digits are either 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, or 81. We have only three matches for this. 16 and 169. 25 and 256. 36 and 361. Replacing these values, we get the following three equations. Now, only the first equation, 4 plus 9, equal to 13, is valid. So, x will be 1, y will be 6, and z will be 9. Hope you enjoyed solving these two verbal arithmetic problems. Here, I'll leave you with a tough one. The puzzle is, 6, plus 7, plus 7, is equal to 20. It took me a while to solve this. Can you solve it? Don't forget to share your answers, in the comment section.